Hello everyone, this is Stealth Always, and welcome to a brand new season of Minecraft um, Forge. Now, I am new to uh, doing Let's Plays, uh, so you'll have to bear me a mind for that. But um, my Let's Play is going to be slightly different compared to your normal Lou. Um, just go out and build and, you know, don't explain exactly what they're doing. They just tell you what they're building. Now, as I am, I'm going to be telling you like I say, what you're building, but I'm also going to explain how to build it, um, what's required for building it, um, and as you can see, I am using mods, so I will be explaining all my mods. I'm uh, hopefully going to use every single one of them, hopefully, um, but I will be explaining what the mods do, how they work, and uh, more in depth. Now, I am running on Minecraft Forge um, with Minecraft 1710. I've got 44 mods loaded, 44 mods active. I will go through the mod list um, as I'm playing. But enough chit chat, let's create a new world. I am creating a brand new world. I've, I haven't done any testing, nothing like that. I've only tested my mods to see if they work. So let's call this Stealth Always Let's Play. Season one. Okay, make sure. No, no. I'm going to leave the seed blank so it says a random generate. No chests, no cheats, nothing like that. And let's go. See what we get. Hopefully, we won't get an island or just just an island surrounded by water, which I've had a few times. Let's see if it actually gives us a proper spawn this time. Oh, oh typical underwater. <laughs> just what I didn't want. And I do believe. Ooh. Let's wait for the world gen to kick in properly. There we go. Oh, don't tell me it's an island. Just buffing my map again. There we are. Okay, it does look like an island, but it actually looks like a fairly bad. I can see a bit of world gen. I don't actually think it's an island. I think I just managed to spawn just on the tip of water. Yeah, we've got a, got a big map here. Okay, so let's just start, usual, by uh, breaking down some trees, getting a bit of wood, get a few basics. Um, now for mods, um, the first one, as you can see straight away, if you look at the top middle of my screen, you'll see something that's telling me exactly what I'm looking at. And that map is called Whaler, and it stands for What Am I Looking At? Um, it tells you what you're looking at, what mod it's from. So as you can see, this one is obviously from Minecraft. Uh, this one's from another mod called Britannia, which I'll explain shortly. But it tells you exactly what it is, what mod it's from. There are add-ons you can get. <coughs> Excuse me. There are add-ons you can get for Whaler. Um, tell you things like if, say, I'm using an axe, it'll tell you if the tree I'm breaking down is currently harvestable with that axe, or if I need to upgrade my axe to a stone axe, which obviously you're never going to need. But Simple little things like that it tells you if you can use stone. Like if you see mining redstone, obviously you can't do it with a stone axe, a pickaxe. You will have to use an iron one. It'll tell you that you know the stone one's not good enough. You need to upgrade. Um, and as you can see, as I've just opened up my inventory, I've got this large section on the right. This is called NEI, which stands for not enough items. This ma this mod, as you can see, shows you all the items, included modded items, it tells you what you can how to make them, for example obviously you smelt cobblestone to get stone um, it tells you every way of getting them and also if you press the U button it tells you what you can actually use stone for so obviously like making a redstone comparator, obviously you're going to need three stone as well as other things but it tells you what that one material can be used for, like say wood you can use it to make a barrel, which I'll explain as part of a mod. Obviously, you smelt it into get charcoal, use it as fuel, etc. etc. It is a brilliant mod, it's, it's integrated with other mods. Um, so, for example, thermal expansion, which I'll get to in a minute, tells you how to create every thermal expansion piece, uh, every item, etc. etc. Also, if I uh, just make a quick crafting bench just now, there we go. Now, as you can see, let's just make a chest. Or oh, actually, I could do with a pickaxe. 
So as you can see I've got sticks and wood, which obviously you need to make a pickaxe. So if we just go to where the pickaxe is, wooden pickaxe, as you can see it tells you the recipe. Now if you just click that arrow, if click that question mark, it'll place, it'll tell you exactly what you need. Obviously you need two sticks and three planks of wood. But if you go on it and hold shift and click, it'll place the items from your inventory straight in there. If you've got them, and you have to, have to obviously you have to have them in your inventory to, to use them. But there you go. I've just made a wooden pickaxe. Simple as that. But yeah, that is Whaler. Uh, any I sorry. There are plenty of add-ons for that, which add mod integration stuff like that. Let's just get a sheep because I'll need wool to make a bed. Good meet you. Um, next mod on the list is Applied Energistics, which is a huge mod. Um, it's actually one of the ones I've actually struggled to get running because I haven't got the most powerful PC, but my PC is powerful enough to run it. Um, putting it plainly, it's how can I explain it? It's a huge storage storage based mod. Um, it uses computers to store items instead of chests. Obviously, you need you just plonk it in a chest. No worries. Whereas at Applied Energistics, you can actually store it within a system um, just go on apply energistics um, where are you you store them on these something called cells which you place into an ME drive which is your main source of um, storage um, I'll get more into it when I go along it it's it's a really good mod it's like I say it's taken me a while to get, be able to run it it is a huge mod there's plenty you can do with it. It's not all about storage, but that's the main gist of it. It's a huge mod. I will explain more when I get into it. Um, the second one, as you saw by that flower I looked at, that is Batania, which is a flower-based magic mod. It is an absolutely fantastic mod. It's the best-looking mod I've ever seen. But basically, you use flowers to create stuff. If I just go Batania. Um, you can create all sorts, you can create rings, which obviously you need bubbles for, which is also a, you have to have bubbles to be able to run some Batania stuff. Um, like you can have rings, which make you travel quicker, you can have, um, where's the magnet, magnetization, which obviously pulls items, say if I'm standing here, and obviously they won't come to me yet unless I get close to them, if I've got the ring with magnetization on. I'll say that again, ring of magnetization on, it will like be pulled towards me, so it's basically a magnet. There's plenty of mods that add magnets, but I like Britannia, I really do like Britannia. Um What else have I got? I've also got chicken chunks, which loads a chunk radius for me. I uh, can't remember which, which is the chunk button. It's not that one. There we are, F9. I just see chunks, um, whereas if I'm standing in this chunk, It'll only load this chunk, um, but if I go out of the way, this chunk will stop loading. So say if I've got machines here processing, and I wander off into the next chunk, it'll it'll stop processing it. Um, but whereas if I've got chicken chunk, if I've got a chunk loader, it will load that chunk even if um, let's say I go into the nether, uh, it'll still load. So it'll still do what I need it to do. The next mod I have is Denzels, which. When I'm mining, I will show you what they do, but basically it adds, say, if you mine a coal ore, you only get one, unless you've got um, luck, a fortune, I think it's called, on your pick, it'll only get one, maybe two or three if you've got fortune, whereas dense ores drop two or three anyway, which is a really, it's a really helpful mod if you're mining. The next mod I've got is Ender.io, which is a highly automated base mod. There's plenty you can do on it. Um, like for instance, you can uh, let's say you've got an iron ore. You can then process it. Where's the sag mill? Let's say you've got an iron ore. I can't see if we can view the recipes. No, you can't. Um, but let's say you've got an iron ore. Um, obviously, if you smelt it, you just get one. You know, you get you only get one iron ingot. But whereas if you put it in the sag mill, you get two iron dust, which then can be smelted into one iron each. So it's a, a good way of uh, doubling your ores if you 
want to do that. Um, you can also um, travel from place to place with a travel anchor. Uh, like say if you've got, say if I've got one plonked here and I've got one plonked here, if I stand on this one and look at that one, I can right click and it'll teleport me straight to here. Um, there's only a certain distance on it, but it's really good. Um, what else we've we got? We've also got the auto spawners, which explains everything. Uh, you can auto spawn. They are powered spawners. Um, you can use them to obviously spawn any item. You have to capture their soul in a soul vial, which I'll find in a second. There we are, soul vial. So say if I've got say if there's an enderman running around and I've got a soul vial, right click and capture his soul and I can then um place it with a um spawner, so see you see blaze, tented cow. Uh, put it in the soul binder with a broken spawner, which obviously you get when you break a spawner. Um and then you can create said spawner um where are you it doesn't show you but basically like I say you can spawn whatever animal you capture it does require rf which stands for redstone flux which is a power um you have to generate as you can see we've got generators here they generate rf um we've also got capacitor banks which store rf that one stores one million which is quite a lot obviously then you've got five million and if you go extreme which is more late game is 25 million RF. Now these are a multi-block so say if you've got one on top of each other they will store 50 million RF. Really helpful. Um, next mod is ender storage. Um, as you all know about ender chests this basically removes the ender chest and adds this new ender chest which is if you can see just by the top of it here where my mouse is they are colour coded like white 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 so you can colour code them yourself just by adding dyes to them so say if you want to eat red white red obviously you just get two red dyes put one red on the outside one red on the other side and um, if you've got say I've got an ender chest here that's red white red and I've got an ender chest here that's red white red they will conjoin with each other but if say this one's red red white and that one's red white red it will not conjoin so they only mix with the same colour. Obviously you've got the ender pouch which is a personal storage but obviously you can as you can see by the whites there you can also connect them with ender chests so say if that one's red white red and I've got a chest that's red white red it will work. That's a really good mod. You've also got ender tanks which can transfer like transfer liquids obviously. So if I've got a lot of a pump in the nether and I've got an ender tank here I can transfer it obviously from the nether to here, etc. etc. The next mod is iron chests, which is just basically upgraded chests here. Obviously you've got your normal chest which is three by nine. The upgrade <coughs> excuse me. Iron, gold, diamond, copper, silver, and crystal. Obviously the higher you go up, the more storage space they've got. Um next mod jabber which adds barrels which can store an extremely large amount of uh, items so whereas a chest obviously you can store so much but um a barrel you can only store one of item like say if you've got cobblestone you can only store cobblestone in there if you or you can only store wood in there or you know one of every item but you can store up to um, i believe it's 64 stacks on a standard barrel unless you upgrade it where you can store up to god knows how much you can store a lot more uh, so let me get a sword because it's night time it's a really good mod jabber is plenty of i've seen plenty of people who do let's plays use it i've seen plenty of people using it um the next mod i have is did did nether ores which obviously spawns ores in the nether solar flux which adds solar generators which generates rf uh, obviously only in daytime um, there is um, an upgrade you can apply to add it to um, I'm not sure if it's night time but it's low level light so say if I've got a solar panel here it's not going to generate much light because I've just got it by which that's not viable there we go oh uh, it's night time last place I want to be was here I'm going to die can't believe I'm dying already Oh, that was lucky. I need to 
get food badly. Um, yeah, degenerates. If I've got one here, it doesn't generate any light because it doesn't tend to generate any RF because there's no there's no clear view of the sun. So if I've got low light upgrades, it should produce more. Uh, next mod I have is Thorncraft, which is a huge magic based mod. Um, I absolutely love Thorncraft. It's 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 a good it's a good mod. It adds plenty of new items, a new way of um, exploring Minecraft itself. It is a really really big mod. Um, it's it can be early game, late game, or even like I'll say it again, could be early game, medium, like mid game, and it can also be used as a late game mod. So it's not it's not something that you just do for 10 minutes and you get bored straight away. It has a really good mod. It takes a while to get into, but it has a really good mod. I really need food. And I'm absolutely getting nothing. Uh, next mod I have is Tinker's Construct, which is, by all means, my favourite, favourite mod. It is... Brilliant. I, I, I can't explain how brilliant it is, but it is brilliant. It's my favourite mod. Um, basically, you can get any ingredient and turn it into a tool. But you can say I've got a wooden sword, obviously, it's got a wooden handle, you know, wooden sword blade. But whereas with Tinkers, like say, if it, you could have a wooden handle with, I don't know, let's say obsidian. Um, sword blade it's you can proper upgrade your weapons you can also have the uh, tools and um, pickaxes shovels hatchets etc <laughs> there's there's loads you can i will be getting more into its early game because it's a rather early game mod but what i'm going to do guys i'll carry on explaining i'm just going to get out of the night time i'm going to try and get it to daytime and i will be back in a minute okay everybody i am back i've managed to get away from some of the night time uh, this forest was absolutely huge. It took me ages to get out of it. It was really bit or an out. That is a, a will gem from Thorncraft. Uh, I can't explain right now, but I will explain when I get into Thorncraft. Anyway, where was I? I was explaining my mods. Um, <coughs> yeah, I was just on the subject of Tinkers. Um, it's a really good mod. I love the mod. Um, I will be getting into, like I say, I will be getting into an early game because it is. It's an early game mod. It can also be used as a late game mod, but it is relatively early game. But I will be getting into it very soon. Come on, die. Thank you. Pig. Give me food. Right. There we go. Um, next mod is Thimble Expansion. Um, this mod is, once again, it's another automated based mod. Um, there's plenty of automation you can do around um, within Thimble Expansion. Um, we've got plenty of add-ons for it, so it's not just automating those add-ons. You can, uh, I'm going to probably play like, upgrade some of your stuff. Um, there's more you can do around automation. Um, I will be using Thermal Expansion early game as soon as I've got a nice place just to call home for now. So a little like, ink over here. I think I might call it a day in here. Cause this looks alright. I could block that off and have this as a little home. Oh yeah, I could fill that in. And I saw a mining cave. Oh, creeper. Come here, you. Go away. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. There we go, got you. Um, yeah, I think I might call this place home. That's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to build just a quick little home. Nothing too fancy, Just probably just a stone house for now. And I will be back in a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've, as you can see, I've just built myself a little home. Uh, nothing spectacular, just a cobble building. 
Um, it should do me for now. <coughs> I'm going to create a few doors. I do need to get some more wood. Let's just create the one door for now. Fill this in. I've only got one piece of cobble. Um, nothing spectacular. It'll just do. Just to get myself sorted at least. Um, I'm just getting myself set up. I need food. Badly. There we go. Um, did manage to get a few torches. Uh, what have I got? I've got chicken. I've got nothing burn. Apart from sticks, but I don't like using sticks. Let's just go get a few pieces of wood. See if I can. Yeah, I can create an axe pretty quick. There we go. Okay, let's just go get some wood. Just so I can burn something at least. Let's try I'll leave that one. That's for now, sorry. Just because I need wood. I can't do it on, on camera, but I do need to um, go mining. So I think I might, in this little corner here, add uh, just an entrance to a little mining cave. See what I can get. Because I'm in need of ores, etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just knock you down. Uh, I'm going to try and do as little mining on camera as possible. I'm only doing a bit now just to show you. Um, just, I just need to get a few ores, get myself started, at least. It's probably only this episode that I'll probably show mining on camera. At least until I get a bit later on in the game. Because there are items that... Oh, drop my phone. There are items that increase your mining. So to say, um, Tinker's Construct adds them, um, obviously, the higher tier you go, the quicker you mine. Same with, obviously, your normal pickaxes, obviously, iron's quicker than um, stone, and diamond's quicker than iron. Here we are, we're in some ores now. These are tin ore, <laughs> which I can actually do with. They are from Thermal Foundation, but they uh, could be used for Thermal Expansion Machines, which I'm actually quite shocked about them already. Got a few of these. Oh, there's even more. There we go. Let's just fill this in. There we go. Okay, let's carry on mining. Um, yeah, obviously, iron's quicker than stone. Uh, diamond's quicker than iron. Gold, if gold's completely pointless as a pickaxe, if you ask me. Completely pointless. Durability is awful. Oh yes, we found iron. Just what I need. Hopefully I'll get a dense ore so I can show you. But I highly doubt it. No. Nah. There we go. Let's keep going. Um, what I'll do, I'll come back if I find anything interesting. Um, I'm just going to dig down a fair few levels. Hopefully it's a little mining cave or at least a dungeon at least. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Hello everybody, I'm back. And I've just managed to find a nice little uh, crevice here. I'm not sure what's in it yet. I've only just a second found it. I'm having a nosy through. Um, I had to make myself an iron one just to mine these, which are thermal foundation ores. Um, you can't be mined with stone, so I had to make an iron one. Luckily enough, I found a fair few pieces of iron, just that smelt them. Uh, I'm currently at Y level 12, so I'm fairly far down, so hopefully I should be finding some uh, pretty good ores. But um, the main reason for recording now, oh, found redstone as well, is I found a dense ore, and that redstone is actually a dense ore, this one here. Now, as you can see, normal one, I'm going to do it again. I got four. 
from a dance one. Same one I got from a dance one. I was on four. I've just got 14 from a dense one, so they are extremely useful. Blue lava everywhere. Silver, silver. There's got a bit more down here. I could do with a diamond. Oh, or berry bushes. These you want to grab. They uh, they generate something called ore berries, uh, which you can then smelt into where are you nuggets so for every one you get one and obviously every nine nuggets makes a um an ingot it's a good little way of getting resources um now the only only grow in the dark i could do this as well search quartz it's from applied energistics uh, they do only grow in the dark so you will have to bear that in mind um see what else we've got might as well grab you as well because i know i'm going to need you eventually some more iron. Not getting much luck with diamonds or nothing like that. Oh, we've got a bit of gold here. That's a winner. Some more cities quartz. Spider over there. Just grab this gold. Head back up. I need coal. That's my main one. Because I'm sick of using wood to smelt. So let's see if we can find any coal just while we're up here. Oh, I could do a line this area up really. Get the series quartz, always grab the series quartz. It's not very common, so that's the end of this. <coughs> so, yeah, I was digging for a while, I was at Y level 40 odd when I did my last segment, so I've had to come a fair way down. Some more iron there, lead, silver. Hmm. Not getting much luck. More right, iron's always a winner, but so you could do a going over there really. Oh no 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 didn't want that. Didn't want that at all. Hopefully that won't burn me for too long. Come on, don't kill me now please. Oh, dopey sod. Oof, that was lucky. Oh, dense gold. Nice. That's not very often. Not very often you get that. A hack hole. It's just light up here. And I could do with a few more torches as well, which is why I need coal. There we are. Let's see if there's any more. As I say, I might as well grab these while I'm here, aren't I? Bit of iron as well. Well, there's a dense eye in there. Where can I get that? Might as well grab it while I can. Oh! Ooh, that was lucky. That was lucky. There we are. What's down? It's a bit of redstone there. Let's just uh, see if I can get it. Redstone's always a nice for Oh, there's essence bushes there. I'm going to have to be careful. These are brilliant. These actually give you... Um, experience. When they grow, they give you experience. They give these little essence berries. So if I just... Actually, I've got four, six, seven... Eight, etc. It goes up and up and up and up. And you can actually store these in tanks like the essence itself. The experience, you can actually store it in tanks. There's plenty of mods that add them. Ender IO adds them. Just have a quick nosy round, see what we've got, see if we've got any diamonds or anything. I'm gonna have to head up soon anyway. Some running dangerous low on torches. Just get a few more pieces of coal. really do with a diamond but I aren't getting much luck with it. I'll find one eventually though. May as well. Grab it while I 
I can. Oh, dense wall. That's what I need. Okay. Just have a quick nose around. Grab whatever redstone I can. Like I say, redstone's always nice to get. So obviously it's not the most common material. Um, I'm not having much luck with any diamonds. Get a bit of tin. So I'm going to need you soon for uh, machines. A bit more redstone. Gold. Nah, I'm not having much luck with diamonds. Um, could really do with some type of truth, bro. I aren't in desperate need for them, but it's always nice to have diamonds. Just, uh, no, nothing much. Okay, oh, serious calls. I'll grab that while I'm here. Okay, let's head up to the base if I can remember my way. Just grab this gold while I'm here. Oh. Which way did I come? Whoa. Whoa. Let's go. It's time to go before I end up getting killed. I cannot remember which way I come. I'm going to figure by the s follow the stone. <laughs> uh, t -t 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 -t. Which way did I come up? I must have dropped down. Oh, I dropped down here, didn't I? See if I can pull my way back up. My skeleton just landed right behind me. Ah, we're back in the crevice now. So doesn't tell what the silver looks like. Looks similar to diamond, so that's not in any way helpful. And I am completely lost. Yeah, here we are, we're getting close now. Find me uh, where I pillared up. So it wasn't there. I'm sure, many of you are asking why I haven't got a map mod. Um, purely for the fact I don't like them. It's, I like the exploration, the exploration side of things, so I don't particularly enjoy using a map. Um, it doesn't interest me in any way using a map. I know it's easier in some cases, but where are you? I'll leave you to it. I do believe this is it. This is where I ended up. Yes, because I was bad as all. I'll just grab this coal while we're here. And then head back up. And start getting some things smelted. Because my inventory is probably getting full now. Grab these and just put some stone down. Okie dokie. Right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I've just made myself a little automated um, furnace setup. I'm just going to plunk a few guys uh, pieces of coal. And then all I do is get me all from here. So you, 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 you. Just pop them in here. And they will uh, automatically get smelted. I could do with another chest, but it isn't necessary. Um, and as soon as they get smelted, they should be plopped right into this chest as the ores. Um, but I do believe it is wrapping up point for this episode. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Um, <coughs> I know it's been a bit boring, but um, it will. I promise you, it'll get more interesting once I start building stuff. Um, at least we've got an house. We've got somewhere to stay. We've got a tiny bit of food but at least we got a bit of food uh, next episode I will be uh, hopefully <coughs> excuse me hopefully starting towards the automation side so um, I'll be getting things like either the pulverizer from thermal expansion if I've got enough to create that I don't, yeah I have um, if not I'll be using ender.io the sagmill which is pretty much the same as the um, pulverizer. Not as quick, but 
just as good. Um, which will hopefully double my ores. So, look forward to that. Uh, I'll also get started a bit on Tinkers, because like I say, it is an early game mod. Um, see if I can get better weapons. Now I've started getting ores. Um, start getting better tools, swords, um, pickaxes, etc. So, uh, yeah, please stay tuned for that. Um, but it is, like I say, wrapping up points. So this is Stealth Always signing off. Um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like, rate, subscribe. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you later, guys.